honestly going into March Madness, man, uh, it's been a roller coaster ride just covering this team. They came in with so much hype. You know, this was a team that was preseason top five in the country. Okay, there, a lot of people had them playing this upcoming weekend in Houston. So mm-hmm. this is a team with a lot of expectations, and they started off the season struggling. We're ten and six. You lose to South Carolina, the worst team in the conference. And then you turn around the next game and you beat Tennessee. So this team was just up and down. You can never get a read on them. So I knew coming into March Madness, I think they'll win a game. But I can't trust them to do anything else. And mm. then they ran into Marquise Noel and, you know, nothing was the same. Mm. Yeah, Marquise Noel <laughs> ran over a lot of teams with his three-point shooting. It was basically the best exactly. three-point shooting showcase I've seen since Purdue had that one run with Carson Edwards where they should have beaten Virginia. They went further than Purdue. <laughs> well, they went further than Purdue this year, not I 2019. Know, right? <laughs> Cra- crazy March Madness. Oh, yeah. It's been amazing. Yeah, not, not, nothing like it when you, when you see all these uh, upsets early and then upsets later on, too. This is the first ever Final Four that does not have a top three seed at all. Like, it was only the fourth, fourth one all time without a one seed, and now it, everyone else had a top three seed or two. So it's surprising. Exactly. Who, who knew the Beach Boys would take over March Madness? You got Miami <laughs> in the Final Four. It's crazy. FAU. It's been a wild year. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, this Kentucky team – Heading into the offseason, this is a huge, might be the most important offseason in Coach Cal's tenure. Having these recruits come on campus and what this team does next season, because think about it, guys. It's 2015 was a while ago. Mm-hmm. That was the Kentucky team that was 38-0, got mauled by Sam Decker and lost in the Final Four. But that's really, yeah, that team, 28, uh, 2019, the team that lost to Auburn, they had a nice run, but these Cal teams lately in the 2020s haven't been just, you know, dominating. He hasn't had those one and done guys. And he was the, one of the first people to get on the wave of bringing in one and duns, had so much talent that other college teams couldn't do anything with it. It's a different story now. The, the It's so much parody in hoops. We just talked about right. the final four. Look at the teams. So now... We, we're really about to see, like, what are you made of, Cal? You don't have those one and dones for real anymore. These freshmen you have coming in is a, a great recruiting class, but a lot of experts are kind of down on this uh, incoming class. So we'll see how good these guys are. But Coach Cal, he needs a big season. And uh, he needs Chris Livingston, too, possibly to come back and stay at Kentucky. And that's a name that uh, – might go to the draft, might transfer. So it's, it's important. It's all about money, too. The NIL and, and, and Kentucky over the years, they, they have received all these top recruit, and, and Duke has received all these top mm-hmm. recruit guys. Now there's money involved with it. Now uh, organizations and, and colleges could pay these players uh, and give them yeah, endorsements. These kids have agents. Yes. So now <laughs> they can make money. So it, it's not going to be as easy as it has been over the years for the top recruiting places like Duke, like Kentucky, like those those teams. And now that obviously we've seen all these coaches jump ship from one school to another, they're not afraid to jump ship because they could still draw some of these top recruit players to come and play for them. There's always going to be somebody who wants to, to be like, you know what, this is not working here, mm-hmm. I can go. We look at the kid in Oregon. He was a top 10 recruit in the nation mm-hmm. uh, last season. And now he's in the transfer portal. There's always going to be a couple, some jewels that will leave their school, their current situation and go elsewhere. So it's just a matter now, roster construction and genuine coaching, X's and O's, preparation. We, we really, I think maybe this era of coaches coming up, we're really about to see some legends. Because if you can dominate, with how the current setup is, that really separates you. And maybe we'll have somebody who's a possible upcoming goat, coaching goat. It won't be John Shire, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can only hope. Oh, please. You, you know I'm a Duke fan. Right? I'm a Duke fan. <laughs> I wanted to throw up. I, 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 I love Coach K. I absolutely love him. He's one of my favorites. Why would you pick Shire? There's Bring in anybody. Anybody, you're, you're, the program is Duke. You are universally known. You can pick any guy you want. You don't have to keep it in the family. Oh, so God, I hope it please. works. 